Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two easy questions for you and the first question is what elements make up proteins and here is a variance to choose from and you would be able to answer this question if you take a look at this table of amino acids. Let's check variant A. So the first atom is carbon atom and we can find carbon atom in every backbone of every amino acid. For example, it can be alpha carbon or carbonyl carbon. And we also can find uh, carbon in our group of every amino acid except glycine. Here in our group we have only hydrogen. We also can find hydrogen in each amino acid. It's going to be one of the four groups attached to the alpha carbon. And also we can find hydrogen in our groups of all amino acids. As for the oxygen atom, we can find this atom in every backbone of every amino acid. And also we can find it in the R group of some amino acids. Next atom is nitrogen and we can find nitrogen in every amino acid in the backbone and also in some amino acids in R group. And the last atom is sulfur and sulfur is shown here in parentheses because we can find this atom only in two amino acids. One would be cysteine in R group and another one is going to be mesionin also in R group. So as you see the correct answer is going to be answer A. In every amino acid we can find carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen and in two amino acids we also can find sulfur in R group. And next question what elements make up nucleic acids and here's the variants to choose from. You would be able to answer this question if you take a look at this picture. Here is a double stranded DNA. Let's check first atom carbon and we can find carbon in every corner for example of the uh, sugar ribose which is in DNA is going to be deoxyribose. Next atom is going to be nitrogen and we can find nitrogen in every base in adenine, in cytosine, guanine and thymine. Next atom is oxygen and we can find oxygen in phosphate group, in sugar group and in bases. So as you see this element is present in each nucleotide and next atom is going to be hydrogen and hydrogen is most abundant element in our universe and it is present in double stranded DNA in multiple places. Many of the hydrogen that is present just not shown here. And the last element is going to be phosphorus that is present in sugar phosphate backbone and it is present in double stranded DNA and not present in any of the amino acids. So both DNA and amino acid has carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen and amino acids also has sulfur, only two of them in the R chain and DNA has the same atoms, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and hydrogen and instead of sulfur has phosphorus. So this is the only difference. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.